Yes, totem is uh, a relatively special experiment because uh, it is uh, split into different subdetectors far from each other, located at the interaction point number five together with CMS. Two detectors are in the end caps of CMS, so they are part of the CMS framework, but other detectors are as far as 147 and 220 meters on both sides of the interaction point. So it is a detector that uh, is as long as more than 400 meters in total. The physics purpose of TOTEM is also special with respect to the other general purpose experiments because uh, TOTEM looks to what we call forward physics. So to particles that emerge from the collisions with a very small angle and continue their trajectory along the beam or almost along the beam. There are different types of collisions that uh, remain in the forward region. One type is what we call elastic scattering, which is exactly the same as uh, with billiard balls, where the two protons remain uh, exactly uh, as integer units as they were before the collision and they just emerge with a given scattering angle. While there are more complex collisions that we call inelastic or diffractive, where one or both protons can destroy themselves and give origin to other particles. If the other particles are still in the forward region, they are detected by totem. If the other particles go in the central region, totem plus CMS together can make a 4 pi coverage of the full solid angle, which is unprecedented. The physics measured by TOTEM is uh, extremely interesting and to, learn, to, learn, to some extent also new physics because uh, it allows to measure proton scattering at energies which were never measured before. And this is due to the unprecedented energy that LHC can uh, operate, at which can, it can operate. The TOTEM can measure the total cross-section, which is the total probability that the two protons have to collide together and to interact together at this energy. This is uh, a measurement that is important for uh, all the other experiments and at the same time is important for the cosmic ray community. It gives insight on uh, the proton structure in the first place and uh, if we take into account uh, more complex collisions, including the inelastic collisions, it uh, allows us to give feedback also to the nuclear, to the structure of the nuclei. If we relate uh, the uh, search made by uh, TOTEM with uh, the uh, most famous uh, Higgs boson search made by the other experiments, the relation is not a direct one. There is only a very indirect uh, link between the two, given by the fact that uh, many of the diffractive uh, channels that TOTEM is studying for represent background uh, for uh, the other experiments in their search for the Higgs. So it is uh, clear that uh, if TOTEM finds uh, a different rate on the diffractive channels compared to what the theory or the models have predicted, it can indirectly help the other experiments in their understanding. This year, to the LHC delivered a fantastic amount of data. TOTEM has uh, run only in special configurations, what we call special runs, that are dedicated at to TOTEM and other experiments uh, for physics to be done at lower luminosity. Nevertheless, TOTEM collected uh, uh, an impressive amount of data and uh, it has measured this year the total cross-section, the elastic differential cross-section and uh, the inelastic cross-section with very high precision. In addition to the design goals of TOTEM and to the main physics program of TOTEM, since LHC provides uh, an energy that uh, we never had before, it allows TOTEM and any other experiment to search for new physics and uh, TOTEM certainly can do that in the forward region. In particular, there are processes, scattering processes like double Pomeron exchange, where 
we believe uh, that uh, there could be new physics and uh, if uh, it is the case, Totem will see it. The way by which Totem can uh, contribute to the general uh, understanding or coming from the other experiments is, for example, to study the probability of having collisions in the very forward regions, in particular in some diffractive channels where the production rate can be higher than uh, what is currently predicted by the theoretical models. And if this will be confirmed by the data and the analysis uh, of this data next year, this could uh, uh, provoke a, an update of all the theoretical models that are used as generators for uh, the main purpose experiments. Speculate, uh, we hope to see some uh, direct uh, effect related to gluon gluon scattering. It would be very important for uh, uh, all our knowledge of uh, QCD and uh, really the structure of matter.